Okay, first thing that we're going to do is install the PySimple GUI library. So let's go to command prompt and just do pip install. So mine is already installed. Now we're going to import import pi simple GUI as SG for short. We're gonna print our first pop-up sg dot pop-up and let's write hello word as an example and it's on our code. As you can see, this is our first pop-up. So it says hello word and then if we press OK and if we print this pop-up if we press OK you will see it gets OK you will see that it's useful later let's continue with the pop-ups if we do our underscore we got OK pop-up which is the same as the earlier as you can see we have cancel pop-up as you can see cancelled we have OK and cancel pop-up. As you can see here, we have hello and cancel. We have also yes, no pop-up, as you can see. If we write underscore here and do auto close, so this pop-up will automatically close. So we're gonna wait for it. It will be closed shortly. Yeah, as you can see. There is another one called timed. Timed and we can do here auto close. Auto close duration is equal, for example, I want it six seconds. So I'm gonna count six seconds, then it close. As you can see, six seconds. Okay, let's explore other pop-ups. And here, let's do the error. As you can see, the bottom is red. There is no border. As you can see, it has no border. Only the label and the button. There is no button. no buttons as you can see it's just the text the text and the border there is no frame as you can see no title bar these three look the same no title bar no border and no frame they look the same there is a pop-up called scrolled as you can see and now we're going to explore the input pop-ups let's remove scroll and do get for example get date if we run it uh, we need a parenthesis as you can see we get the date press ok we will get the date here there is file okay it needs a message here Please choose a file. And now, as you can see, we can choose our file. This one is an example. I will get the path. If you press OK, we will get the path here. And also, there is a folder. Choose a folder instead a file. Let's browse. For example, this one and select it, and we get the path. And if you press OK, we return the path to that folder. There is also text. Let's write hello and press OK. We'll return the, that string that we wrote. Another example about the pop out get text. Let's say here, enter your password, please. Let's open it. The letters are seen. To hide it, there is a parameter. Let's go to the documentation. Here, pop up text. The parameter is password car or char, password character. 
closer and let's do the character as for example asterisk and if you open I'm writing as you can see asterisk it's something very useful okay now we're gonna explore some pop-up parameters let's take the basic one this one and and start adding so well, I already know here there is a message okay I already know there is a message here and if we go to the documentation here yeah, we can see that those are all the parameters of pop-up so there is title here if we do here title is equal to hello program as an example if we run it okay because the size is small that's why we couldn't see the uh, the title okay let's do something else let's do button color let's copy it button color let's for example uh, blue as you can see the button returned blue I have background color the background color is equal to be let's say white let's run it as you can see it's weird you can see now the text so this is the text color this the color of the text let's do a red as you can see the text of the label this is the auto close so it's false but if we do it true it will take some time to close i think it's five seconds but we can customize it by adding auto close duration that we saw earlier we can change the icon here and put the path here to that icon can change the font can do this grab anywhere first let's do it without it I'm clicking but I can't move it so if we add that parameter and do it true now I'm able to move it around keep on top so this is I think you already know what's what's the meaning of this if you have several windows or it will make sure that that pop-up is not behind always in front location this is a useful parameter so location let's do zero zero and in order to see what's going on so this is a location we spawned the pop-up here let's do an image this image image and let's put a path dot so we have to change the the backslash to a forward slash and then my image is called home.png let's run it as you can see this is our image so we can resize it but we need to import the pillow library that's it for pop-ups i will see you in the next tutorial for more about PySimple simple gui framework